In the previous two lessons in this chapter, if you're kind of following along, we kind of had some fun, didn't we? I mean, often you get to paint on somebody's face or actually turn that face into cracked mud. Let's get a little bit more practical as we weave through this chapter. Straightening images out is something that you're probably going to wind up doing sooner or later. Let me give you in this first lesson three very common, very easy ways to accomplish that. So I've got two images open from your exercise file. One is called Straighten PSD, and the other one is called Multicrop PSD. Go ahead and open those two up. Let's start with this one. Photograph taken, crooked, want to straighten it. First, double-click on background and give that layer a name. We need to convert it into a layer. Metal pot. Go ahead and click OK. Now, go up to the word edit and go down to free transform. This is called the eyeball method. Go anywhere you want on the outside. You'll see a crooked arrow. And go ahead, straighten it out. You like what you see? Either double click in here or press the enter key and you've straightened it out. Let's press undo. Love that key. The second way is tried and true also. It's been around for a long time. It's using the ruler over here. It's under the eyedropper tool now. Draw a line representing what you think should be straight in this particular image. Just like that. Then go up to the word image on the pull down menu and go down to image rotation and select arbitrary. 2.79 is what I drew. That number comes from the ruler. Clockwise, we'll spin it in the direction we want. Click OK. You've straightened it out again. Now, the third way is a little bit more complicated, or you might think it is, but actually it's easier. And that's this image right here, multi-crop. Somebody threw a whole bunch of images on a scanner and said, Andy, can you pull these out for me? And you go, not only do you want me to straighten them, you want them as separate files. Yeah. That's not hard, is it? You own Photoshop. I can't tell you how many times people think things are easy when sometimes they're not, or vice versa. This one's easy. The images must be separated so that Photoshop can find the edges, just like these. If you've got something like this, you're one click away. Go up to the word File on the pull-down menu and go down to Automate, Crop, and Straighten Photos. That's it. You can see it happening up here. They're all done. Check them out. Not only are they straightened, well, that one's not technically straightened, but the image is straightened, but it saved each one as a separate file. If you're trying to do a whole lot of images, this would be one way to do it, but let me say one thing before we close out this lesson. If the images aren't perfectly aligned on the scanner, I would recommend, if you have the time, to rescan it and make it perfect. Because when you rotate images, you're reorganizing the pixels in the image, and it can impact quality. Other than that, these are three very easy ways to make short work of straightening up an image. On to the next.